Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video for you guys. And today this is the tutorial that I'm doing for you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how I transform this wig right here into this Beyonce inspired caramel blonde wig. So if you guys wanna see how I colored this wig, how I styled it and customized it, then please continue to watch this video. All right, so let's get started. And the hair that I'm using today, it's by Lumiere Hair. This is my first time using their hair. So this is their 613 blonde hair. This is 24 inches. I will put all the info in the description bar down below. And I'm using a frontal as well. So I'm actually gonna make my wig off camera because I do have very detailed videos making my wigs. So this is what the completed wig is looking like. I actually end up using only three bundles. I did not use four bundles. However, this hair was very, very full. So this is what the hairline is looking like. I'm gonna show you guys how I customize the hairline on my wig so it is looking very very wiggy right now and you want it to look a little bit more natural and realistic right all right so i'm gonna go in with a bottle of water and start customizing this hairline on this wig so it looks a little bit more natural so i'm gonna go in and take my comb and part the hair and start tweezing behind the hairline now i do have more detailed videos on this but let me know if you guys just want me to do a full detailed video on just customizing the wigs so they look more natural i feel like it's a lot harder for you guys to see it especially on blonde hair because if i had darker hair it would be a lot easier for you to see it if that makes any sense so let me know if you guys want to see that so yeah just go behind the hairline and don't tweeze the same spots over and over because you don't want to get any ball spots so this is pretty much how it's looking right now. I did tweeze the hairline. It's looking a lot better, a lot more natural. Sometimes I go in after the wig is fully completed. Yeah, so once the wig is colored, I'll try the wig on again. And if I need to go ahead and tweeze some more, I usually go ahead and tweeze some more. You never wanna over tweeze it because you don't wanna have any ball spots because when you have ball spots in the front, it's gonna be really hard to hide it and cover it. All right, so let's move on to the fun part. We're gonna color this wig. So I'm gonna use Ion Color Brilliance, Dark Intense Blonde, and a Light Blonde. I used three Dark Intense Blonde and three Light Blonde. It comes with all the instructions to follow. So I will put the amount of color that I actually use in the description bar down below. And I'm gonna use the Salon Care Number 10 Cream Developer. Grab yourself a mixing bowl and start putting that dye into the mixing bowl. So mine has a separator. So one for the dark blonde, one for the light blonde. And you need to mix two parts of cream developer. So I'm gonna put two parts of cream developer into the dark intense blonde and just go ahead and mix it all around. I will put my gloves on soon, you guys, so don't come for me. So now I'm gonna go in with the light blonde and do the exact same thing two parts of cream developer. So here we go, I got my two brushes ready. Now before we color, we're gonna go ahead and prep this wig. So this is my handy dandy trusty Vaseline and I'm gonna apply this all over my frontal. This will help to protect that lace because the worst thing you can do is stain your lace. You don't wanna stain your lace, okay? Because then the wig is just not gonna look natural because it's gonna be stained lace. So you're gonna see the lace on your forehead. So I'm just gonna apply the Vaseline all over that lace. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and section off this wig and get her ready for coloring. So grab your gloves, grab your brush, and I'm gonna go in with the Dark Intense Blonde first. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply to the roots of the wig. Now, just so you know, I am not a professional when it comes to this stuff. A girl is just learning, okay? And what I learn, I just show it to you guys. So I am not a professional. If you guys have any advice for me if I'm doing something wrong, comment down below and let me know. So I'm just wiping my hands off with a raggedy towel. And then I'm gonna go in with the lighter color. So I'm gonna start adding the light blonde to the hair. The reason why I wipe my hand off is just so I don't get the dark um, color on the ends of the hair. So always wipe your hand off when you're using different color dyes just so you don't have little patches of colors all over the hair, like patches that just don't look right. So just repeat the same steps. This part, it's very repetitive, so I am gonna speed it up a little bit. So again, I go in with the dark blonde and then go in with the light blonde. As you can see, I did add some saran wrap. That way it protects the hair and the colors are not bleeding all over each other. 
So guys, this is actually one of my go-to colors. I love the shade of blonde, and I had to do this video for you guys because you guys have seen me rock wigs like this, but you've never seen a tutorial on how I do it. However, I did something similar with black hair. However, I had to bleach the black hair, turn it into blonde first before I could get a caramel shade blonde. But to be honest with you, this process is a lot easier. It might look hard, but I find it a lot easier starting off with blonde hair because the bleaching, the black hair, oh my gosh, that was a process and I had to bleach it multiple times to get it to the shade of blonde that I wanted to get to. So I like doing it like this so much more. So yeah, I'm just adding the dark intense blonde to the roots and then adding the light blonde to not the tips, but I just wanted the darker color just mainly at the roots. Now the hair that I'm using, Lumiere hair, this is my very first time using their hair and to be honest with you guys, I'm actually very impressed with the quality of the hair. It took the color in really good and the hair felt so soft. Like for 613 hair, it felt really, really amazing. But I would recommend you guys check out reviews on the hair. Don't just take my opinion for it. Um, definitely check out more reviews, but I was very impressed with it. Now I let it sit for about 45 minutes and then I went ahead and take the pins out. So this is what it's looking like right now. I know it looks a lot darker, but we're just gonna take out the saran wrap. And guys, even though I wear gloves, my fingers always look raggedy. Like why, why, why does that happen to me? Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go take out all the saran wrap and we're gonna wash the dye out of the hair. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wash that Vaseline out. A lot of you guys always ask me, how do I get the Vaseline out? Yes, I do have to shampoo it multiple times. I'm using my purple shampoo, but you can use any shampoo to get the Vaseline out. This is the only shampoo I had on hand, so this is what I'm using. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash that Vaseline out. It can be a pain sometimes to get it out. And then I did put some purple shampoo and let it sit in the hair for about five minutes just to get out any brassy color if there's any. And this is pretty much how she is looking right now. She's nice and wet. But we're gonna go ahead and blow her out. So get your blow dryer, blow her out. And I'm really happy with the results of the color. It's looking real good and the hair still feels pretty good. Okay, so she's all blown out. She's looking alive. The color is looking bomb. I'm feeling her. Yes, I'm actually very proud of how it turned out. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I apply the wig. So as you can see, what lace? Don't know her, oh yeah, the lace on the side. So I'm gonna show you guys how I've been applying my wig recently. I wasn't gonna apply my wig on camera, but I was just like, you know what, let me show you guys a bit. I do have very detailed video on how I apply my wigs. Nothing's really changed. So I'm gonna be using my lace glue. This is the Ghost Bond Lace Glue. I'll put all the info in the description bar down below. As you can see, I cut a little piece of the lace so I literally been cutting it in sections I find that it's a lot easier for me to do it like this and then I apply the glue onto my forehead so I still do the ball cap method which I have a video on that on my channel already so that's why I didn't show that step because I already have that on my channel so you want to grab your rat tail comb and just press that in melt that lace into that glue that's how you're gonna get it to look natural now I know I do have a glueless wig tutorial where I just use a got to be hairspray but I prefer to use um, the lace glue but I do go in with some got to be free spray as well just to make it look extra melted it's gonna hide those little tiny holes on the lace so it's not looking like a window screen you know the window screen <laughs> it's not gonna look nice and lacy on your forehead because that's not cute so you want to go in with your blow dryer and have it on cool setting and now I'm gonna go in with the razor and start cutting that lace please be careful with the razor because it's so easy for you to cut yourself so I like using a razor and a scissors the razor is gonna give it that jaggedy cut because you don't want it to look too perfect going across your forehead so now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting another section off of the lace like for me I just find that this is a lot easier and to cut the lace behind your ear I know that's the part most people have trouble with but this is pretty much how you do it and again I do have my ball cap on you can see my ball cap right there I've already melted it down, that way my hair is protected underneath and it just gives the wig a more natural look as well when you do the ball cap method I find. And the excess lace is all gone so I just went back in with my glue and start gluing down the 
wig so I'm just applying the glue onto my skin I'm going in with the sponge and then my blow dryer so make sure that glue is dry and tacky and it dries clear and then I'm gonna go ahead and start melting down that lace into the glue so this is what's really gonna give it that natural look okay so now I'm gonna cut off that last piece of lace this is the part that sometimes I have trouble with and I hate doing this on camera so that's why sometimes you guys don't see me cut my lace on camera because I'm like I am not about to screw this way up I need to be in a big mirror I'm literally looking in my little mirror right now so it's, the struggle was real but I had to do this for you guys so yeah I go in with my razor and I cut off all the little excess pieces of lace and we're gonna follow the same steps by applying the glue wait for it to get tacky and then melt it down and that's pretty much all I did and I repeated the same steps on the other side as well all right so moving right along before I style this wig I'm gonna go ahead and cut some layers in the front so I'm gonna grab my scissors and start cutting some shorter pieces just to frame my face I'm not the best when it comes to cutting hair so don't judge me <laughs> so yeah I'm happy with how it's looking so far and I'm just gonna repeat the same steps on the other side as well not cutting the layers too short though and just to flatten down the wig a bit, I'm gonna go in with my hot comb. This is the Annie hot comb and I got it on Amazon. And then I'm gonna go in with some mousse and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on my wig as well just to flatten it down and go in with that hot comb trust me the hot comb really does wonders now if you do want to make your part more defined you can go ahead and tweeze the part out a bit more I don't really like my part to be super defined because I feel like when the part is really really defined it also does look like it's a wig but maybe I could have went in and just made the part just a little bit more defined with a tweezer but I'm okay with it and to melt my lace down I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair scarf on I usually leave this on for about like five ten minutes and voila she is completed I went off camera and I beat my face so this is pretty much my go-to makeup look I actually have a tutorial on this makeup look already a lot of you guys ask for tutorial on this look but it's literally my go-to makeup I've done lots of tutorial on this actually so moving right along I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair and I'm using my flat iron so I'm gonna use my babeless flat iron and start doing some curls, curl it away from the face. I'm not the best at explaining how to curl the hair because to be honest, I'm really not that good at it, but yeah. So I just go in with the flat iron. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite hair serum. This is the Iron Hair Serum and I'm just gonna apply it all over the hair to give it some shine and she is looking nice and voluminous. And I did add some hairspray in the front just to give it a little bit of height and volume as well. And you guys, if you are new to wig making or you're new to my channel, I do have more beginner friendly videos. So I will list my wig application video in my description bar down below and how to make a wig video also in my description bar down below. So I'm just going to show you guys another option of style. So I'm just going to put her half up, half down because I thought the wig would look really good like this. So I just went ahead and applied some hair mousse to the front and then I'm just going to go in with my brush and just brush it up upwards just to get rid of any little frizz and I'm just gonna go in with a elastic band and just wrap it around that ponytail so she is snatched and secure she's looking cute and I'm just gonna go and grab a piece of hair and just wrap it around the elastic band just to hide the elastic band as well and I just added a bobby pin in just to secure it. And her hair look is pretty much completed. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. Please comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. I'll see you in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Bye!